PC Crash 10.2 lets you apply joint frictions to multibodies in a time-based uh, manner. Let me show you what I mean. Here I have a multibody set up, uh, a multibody system. We've got a motorcycle and a rider. The motorcycle is articulated. You can see on the joints here I've got hinge type joints for the wheels and also uh, the forks can rotate uh, so you can steer the motorcycle. I've got the motorcycle inclined, so if you look at the front of the bike, it's leaning over at a 10 degree angle, and I've got an initial speed of about 70 kilometers per hour. If I run this, because the motorcycle is leaning, it's a bit of settling out, but it actually follows a curve. So we go for about two seconds there. And you can see I've got the camera set to follow the multibody. And actually, it's a new feature in 10.2 that as I move the simulation slider, the camera now moves as it's supposed to, locked relative to the, the vehicle, rather than when you just play. So now what I'm going to do is have this rider apply the rear brakes during this turn. So I could always do that by just increasing the friction of that joint, that rotary joint. But now in 10.2 I can apply uh, points within that friction sequence, or within that uh, that uh, friction. Let me show you what I mean here. So I go to the joints tab, and I'll take a look at the side. I'm picking that rear wheel. In the friction, I'm going to do a square bracket and say at 0, comma 0, or 0, there's time, there's 0 newton meters force. Let's say at 1 second, there's still 0. And then at 1.2 seconds, I have a lot of torque applied. So I'm just going to put in frictions at different points. And now if I rerun that simulation, after a second of travel, that brake should lock. And down he goes. So you see as we go towards the end, he actually wipes out because that rear wheel has locked. Then I can look at the difference between front and rear braking by changing that to the front wheel. So if I go back to my multibody system there for my joints, I'm going to change this back to zero, friction on the rear, and instead I'm going to do that same sequence on the front. So now I'm going to lock up my front wheel, and run it again. At one second mark, the front wheel locks. And I don't have it set to run the full length of the simulation, or the uh, right to the everybody stopped. But as you can see, it does something quite different when the front wheel locks and when the rear wheel locks. And that can be applied to any kind of joint, uh, whether it's a rotary joint or uh, a different kind. So that's uh, new joint uh, frictions in uh, PC Crash version 10.2.